Okay, so we're here in Blender, and um, when you open it, it should look like this. You'll just, just see a skeleton here. And you're like, where the hell is my avatar at, right? So you want to bring your attention over here to this left panel, and um, you'll see this as female body, female tail, vagina, all the rest of that stuff. And these little eyes next to some arrows and a camera. Um, you're just going to build your avatar onto the skeleton by clicking onto the eyes and you'll see that the body comes in and you'll be able to select the parts that you want and build the avatar that you need to build clothes for. I want to build clothes for the um, basic female so I'm just going to select the female body and I usually like to import the tail onto the body if I needed to but if you want to make clothes like with the tail uh, in consideration of the tail you're going to want to have that attached to your butt uh, you know <laughs> before we export it that way you know when you're making clothes like oh the tail goes here I need to create a flap or a cut and something in here so I would totally suggest keeping the tail on or so when you're doing it but it might get in the way when you're trying to make pants so um, hmm I guess it's up to you I, for the sake of this let's do it without the um let's do this without the tail and then we'll add the tail later the same can be said for the ears, especially if you're doing something like a hoodie and you want the ears to be uh, sewn, like sew ears onto your hoodie or so, or you want to make sure that the hood goes around the ears and not through the ears. So you can just uh, find where it says ears, 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 uh -huh, and then click on the ears and enable. So once you have your avatar all built up, um, let's see, we're doing it without the tail. We're going to hold down shift and select the first layer. Oops. We're going to just select the first layer. You're not going to hold down shift. Just click the first layer. And did I turn cool? I thought I had screencast on. Text. There you go. So what we're going to do, once we have our avatar built, we're going to press A. And then we're going to export it all. Export. And then OBJ. And you're going to want to make sure that you have this check selection box selected. And you're going to press this plus button here. And then you're going to name it uh, MD template. That way you can just select from the drop menu and then select it before you export. Whew. So uh, what I'm going to do is put this on my desktop because it's a lot easier to grab it from there. So I'm going to name this uh, Cat Lady No Tail export and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enable the tail and I'm gonna just select the tail and I'm going to go file export uh, wavefront OBJ and then um, back to my desktop and I'm gonna name this cat tail OBJ and hit that so that's it that's all the preparation we need to do right now uh, we're going to close Blender and then go right into Marvelous Designer and start designing some clothes for her.